Hey everyone, Danny Webster here from Pocketnow.com, and this is the hardware tour of the Motorola Click 2 on T-Mobile's network, so let's get started. So the Click 2 has a 3.7 inch LCD that's a glass capacitive multi-touch screen. On the front here we have a front facing video camera, right next to that we have a light sensor, our speaker grill, and also we have a LED notification that uh, sets off when you have like a Twitter messages or email or whatnot. On the bottom we have these capacitive buttons that light up when you also have a notification so that's kind of neat. On the top we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, our power standby button. On this side we have the micro USB charging sync port along with another notification LED which is kind of odd that there's so many notifications on this device. This lets you know when it's charging. On the bottom we don't really have much of anything except for a tiny little speaker right microphone I should say right here. On this side we have the dedicated camera button. We have a power vibrate speaker toggle switch and we also have our volume rocker. If we slide open the device we have a full QWERTY keyboard uh, set in this hexagon pattern. We can also hit the function and get all the other buttons if we'd like. And that's pretty cool. It works very well. Uh, I'll have to review that when we go over the software tour. On the back of the device we have a 5 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash. So we also have our speakerphone on the bottom. So I can pop off the battery cover here. Underneath the battery cover we have a uh, SD card, micro SD card, that all you have to do is pop this open and then the micro SD card slides out. We have our SIM card slot and we also have a 1320 milliamp hour battery, that's a lithium ion. So some of the radios that are included with this is a GSM chip that's quad band GSM. It also has a tri-band UMTS which is at 850, 1700, and 2100. So you could potentially use this on both GSM networks in the United States, which of course is T-Mobile and uh, AT&T. So we can also put this back in on their 3G uh, connections. Unfortunately, this device does not have the T-Mobile 4G or the HSPA Plus that we've seen on some of the other devices. Let me just clean out this screen because it's quite fingerprint prone. We also have a Wi-Fi BGNN chip inside. We have the we have assisted GPS along with other sensors, Bluetooth 2.1. Uh, we have a proximity sensor, of course. We have an accelerometer. So I guess I should also mention that the screen is FWVGA, so that's 854 pixels up and 480 pixels across. So the powerhouse of the Click 2 is a 1 gigahertz Texas Instruments processor along with 512 megabytes of RAM and 1 gigabyte of ROM. Stay tuned for the software tour where we go over all the software of the Motorola Click 2 as well as see if they've changed anything on the Moto Blur user interface and also check out any live wallpapers. But after going through this, there aren't too many live wallpapers available. And if you like our videos, make sure you give us a thumbs up and also leave some comments down below. Thanks for watching.